Hello everyone, today we will continue learning Twisted and we will write client using Twisted. In the last episode we created server and server factory and I won't explain protocols and factories again. Because in client they are exactly the same as in servers. So I created new file called client.py and from twisted.internet I will import our reactor. And as you can see, reactor is exactly the same as in server. Ok, from twisted dot internet dot protocol I will import uh, protocol capitalized and then I will create a class called client uh, client which inherits protocol capitalized so I want to introduce a new method and it's called def um, not connection made but data received so when our server sends some data to our client data received will be called when data from our server is received and that's easy for example when our data is received I will print that data but mm, in the servers we encode our data to be bytes and when we receive it in our clients we should decode our data to be strings if we want to manipulate with them for example when you receive a message you won't see um, be hello you will see just hello string so to decode data I will use data equals data dot decode decode and in servers we using encoding UTF-8 and the same encoding should be used in clients so UTF-8 and now our data is raw string so when data is received our data will decode and then will be printed and that's basically all and after my data is received, I want to send some data back to my server. So I will call self.transport.write, but instead of putting raw string, I will put function code input. So our client needs to type something, and to show that input is working, I will I will pass some string in. But we, uh, but input returns raw string, and we need to encode it to be bytes, and we use the same encoding code UTF-8. So that's basically all. And then I will create our client factories. So then I will create my client factory. So client factory. And we need to import our factory. So from twisted.internet.protocol dot protocol I will import client factory. Uh, and as you can see in clients we use client factory, but in servers we use server factory. And uh, to avoid name repetition, I will call it, for example, CL factory. And that's all. My client factory will inherit from CL factory. And as in server, we should call dev build protocol and return our client. So that's basically all. And now we will, we will create main if name equals, equals main. And as in server, we need to import from twisted.internet.endpoints import tcp for client endpoint in server we use server endpoint and in client client endpoint it's easy and I will create new endpoint which will be called uh, which will be tcp for client endpoint and and we should provide three things first of all our reactor and then our host I will explain it later and then our port so in our server we provided port for 2000 and port in client must be the same as we provided in server because for example if our tcp for server endpoint serving on port 2000 and we put for example 5000 on tcp for client at the point our client won't find our server and it will be an error so same port and and what about host as host we should provide an address, IP address and for now uh, we serve our server on our local machine so local host is our address. I will pass local host or you can pass uh, 127001. It's basically the same as local host but I will write local host and we should provide um, endpoint dot 
but uh, now not listen but connect connect and we should provide client factory so client factory and we should call it not just uh, put link to client factory but call and then as i said to execute our code we should uh, we write reactor.run so um that's basically the same for our client but i want to talk about server now what i want to do when our client sending some data i want server to receive it and then send it back so now when our connection is made we send some data and then lose our connection and i will destroy string whose connection and we'll create new function called dev data received so as you see uh, data received in clients are the same as in servers so when our data is received and client have already sent some requ some requests to our server we should do something like this self dot transport dot write and data and we shouldn't we can't so when our client sent some response to our server we should send it back so what i will write self dot transport dot write data and um, why because we have already encoded in encoded in and we can't encode our data in our server data received why because we have already encoded it in our client and uh, as i said servers are talking with each other by sending some bytes and we have already received but we can't encode our data here in data received why because we have already done it it in our client when we and we can't encode our data here why because we have already done it in self.transport.write input and encode um, translates string into bytes and when we receive our data in data received in our server data is type of bytes so we won't uh, encode bytes because bytes are already encoded and in our server we'll decode bytes and print our data so now let's start our server and uh, just to show i want to print data in data received and i want the code so let's start so as you can see hello from server and if we go to server uh, it says new connection and now we need to put some string to our input for example hello from client and as you can see our server send it back so uh, byte bytes hello from client and then our server send but uh, our bytes back and we receive hello from client and that's basically all we can do whatever we want so as you can see i type some data in and we get it back so that is echo server in twisted good luck mm -hmm.